Hello, welcome to another impartial Trump theorists. Bing, I love it. Um, well, <laughs> this week isn't all Trump, but it's mostly yeah. it's mostly Trump. Yeah, Even yeah, the shit yeah, that's no, not Trump is, yeah, it's so. Trump. We're talking about Trump's lawyer. Yeah, so Michael yeah. Cohen, they've got him on a uh, corruption investigation. Trump is salty about it. He went to Trump Tower. His office was at Trump Tower. Also, another thing that happened at Trump Tower was a fucking fire in one of the units. Somebody's huh. apartment fucking caught on fire. Damn. And it's caused, <laughs> and Trump was even saying that the fact that my our shit is on fire and it didn't spread proves that Trump Tower is spectacular, which is bullshit. Because the prices of the apartments and units, like the values dropped like a motherfucker. And they've been dropping every day since. So Trump Tower is low-key fucked. So that's one area that Trump will make money from, at least. So that's good. But anyway, after they seize the sh- after they seize the shit from Trump Tower, um, Michael Cohen, who's Trump's personal lawyer, who got raided, has been asking, has been trying to get the FBI to not use anything that they found, basically, to get a, get a judge to strike it out, mm-hmm. which failed, obviously. They've been investigating for like seven months. Like way before all the Stormy Daniel shit became yeah. huge news, but that just put the that just put like the full speed button on to full speed ahead on the case because once he claimed that he used campaign funds or whatever funds were formed to pay, like even yeah. if it's not true, you just implicated yourself in a fucking crime. Yeah, like and he yeah, because he was the lawyer that uh, at, when it started coming out that Stormy Daniels was paid off during the election. Fucked himself over. Yeah, because Trump he, never even gave him the money. Cohen said that he just used his personal finances to pay for Stormy Daniels. So. Yeah. But there was some uh, at first people. There was some speculation that they used ca- campaign finances, yeah. which they and actually could have, yeah. and that that him paying with his personal thing was just a cover up. That hasn't really the whole thing come is yeah, because Trump but, never gave him so gave him the money. So they're trying to figure out where the fucking money came from. Yeah. So the, they got a warrant seeking information about the payment connected with Stormy Daniels shit and also the Playboy model Karen McDougal because that's another story that happened that people haven't been talking about that much. He also paid it off to 150 instead of Stormy's 120. So I guess oh, really? yeah, she might be better. And yeah, and so in this New York Times article, it says the documents seized by prosecutors could shed light on the president's relationship with the lawyer who has helped navigate some of Mr. Trump's thorniest personal and business dilemmas. Cohen has served for more than a decade as a trusted fixer and during the campaign helped tamp down brewing scandals about women who claim to have carried on affairs with Mr. Trump. So yeah, he's been, uh, I don't know, what was uh, on... House of Cards, what, Doug? No, um... Well, that was, like, his yeah, assistant, well, but I feel Scandal. like... <laughs> Scandal is a TV show about the fixer. Yeah. Carrie Washington is the fixer. That's how she started fixing and fucking the president. Yeah. Which, she, she just caused another scandal, but it's a whole fucking thing. Um, anyway, they also seized, in addition to all the other shit, they seized everything, including possibly recording between Trump and Cohen. Which could lead to a lot more information about a lot of things, which is like a, I wouldn't say accidental find, but it's just a bonus on top of that yeah. shit. And the reason why Cohen went to court against the FBI like two days ago was so was so that he could get those recordings barred, because he's trying to cl- claim that they don't pertain to the actual case, but they do, because at least small parts of them do. So making everything. Man, yeah, he's fucked. The and pressure, the fixer has to fix his whole situation. Yeah. Like, can that's, he do and it? That's why Trump is pissed and wants to fire Mueller. Because now that that has happened, he they could have found shit that proves other shit. So this is just like a key that unlocks a bunch of other fucking puzzles. And Trump is against that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump is pissed. He's, he's freaking he, out. He was, he was at a, uh, he had a meltdown. Capitol Hill like press conference thing that mm-hmm. he's doing and it wasn't even related at all to yeah. this but he found well, out I forgot couple, even what he it was found about out a couple like minutes before that shit though yeah but he just like used it to just kind of ramble bitch. on about how he was a bitch yeah bitch about the FBI and how Cohen is just a 
straight laced guy, never did anything wrong, which <coughs> He's not straight up true. just makes him sound so much more guilty and mm -hmm. just makes the whole thing look worse. But that's Trump's MO. Like, whenever he needs to shut up, he just goes full on. Yeah. Honestly, Cohen straight into the media. Like, all these people were fucked just because Trump won the presidency. If he had lost like he was supposed to, like, he low key, he fucking wanted to. Yeah, everybody would have made their money and, yeah. like, like, people would have, yeah. Maybe Hillary would have dealt with that, but she would have had more, at least back in those days, in terms of pressing things. Right now, pressing things aren't really pressing things, but, like, she would have had Syria to deal with, and that would have taken over everything. And she would have had to deal with Russia. That would have taken over everything. North Korea. Yeah. Like, that would be what's on the news right now. Like, mm -hmm. I low-key can't remember what it used to be like, but, like, that would be what we're focusing on. That would be what we're talking about right now. And mm -hmm. we're freaking out thinking that, yeah, World War Three is about to happen, but now we don't give a fuck about World War Three. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, World War Three is just kind of an afterthought at this point. Um, what things would have been like in the medium <laughs> timeline? We're in the darkest one, though. This is the darkest timeline. And we're yeah. fucked. But... Shit, I can go back to Africa. <laughs> That's like the sixth time I've said that here. But it's a real thought. Anyway, talking about people who want to jump ship, Paul Ryan stepped down, stepping down from um, Speaker of the House, from being Speaker of the House. God, yeah. It's going to be a mess for whoever comes into the next to replace Paul Ryan. Like, the Republican Party is totally just. It's disintegrating. It's, it's split. It's, yeah, it's disintegrating. Yeah. But you also got to remember the Democrats are not. I mean, that's that much why Paul off. Ryan is leaving, because it's just, it's too much to handle. You have the president just kind of on his own thing yeah. republicans plus he can always run for president 2024 he just yeah. needs to build up goodwill people need to forget that he ever didn't say shit about trump and actually endorsed him in the end so yeah yeah he's 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 gonna be he's gonna be good he's gonna make a shit ton of money too give him speeches oh yeah he'll probably write a book and yeah. go on tour and yeah. whatnot so yeah it'll be a nice time for him to raise some money get his uh next political goals and focus and uh yeah i'm sure he'll be coming back yeah. maybe he'll even be more ripped when he comes back and people like him more it's like kind of the oh, main definitely. reason people like him so yeah. <laughs> but and then he'll take away all our medicare and yeah. but he'll do it in a charming security. way so it'll be cool yeah yeah World War Three might be starting, according to who. If I don't know who you want to believe, but according to either CNN or Fox, World War Three might start because of Trump. Oh, well, I mean, and so World War Three involves like at least like two superpowers, right? Yeah. And then like America, Russia, China. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, yeah, that would that would do it. But I mean, North Korea, they'll play a small part in it. They'll eventually get bombed out. Yeah. But yeah, so it seems to be everything's, the party's getting started in Syria. Uh, this has been going on for a long time. I mean, Obama and Putin have been bumping heads on Syria. Yeah, well, this is an escalation, though. A wild escalation. Something that Trump was saying Obama was trying to do. And Trump yeah. just did the exact same shit. He even made it Do you even remember what was Trump saying about Syria during the campaign? Oh, he, he was saying... He was saying we got to work with Russia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this is like a definitely a 180 on that. Because Russia is pissed. <laughs> yeah. And we, we I dropped kinda, some bombs. I kind of think that's what Russia wants. Because why are they trying to stabilize everything if the end goal is in war? Or at least to make themselves a superior power. Because war is going to bring America even more into like... Just the threat of war is gonna bring up protests, riots, and shit. Cause people don't want to fucking do that, especially under Trump. Half the country wouldn't want to go to war for Trump. So, yeah, Russia might win. Yeah, I don't think anybody in the U.S. really wants to go to war. It would be just kind of like, yeah, Whoa, well, Trump supporters start... would go to war for Trump, though. Oh yeah, that's but true. But no fucking Democrat would want to. They would nah. They would die here before they go to war for Trump. Oh yeah, so um, this is also in the bigger picture. I mean, Syria has been accused of, and I mean, I guess basically proven yeah, and condemned did. for using chemical weapons in the past. Yeah. 
and yeah, the the national international community, you know, gets pretty worked up about that kind of stuff. Um, as they should. I mean, we're, we're trying to live in a world without chemical weapons attacks, right? So that's what this is about. So to respond to that, we drop bombs on the sites of the chemical weapons. Sites were chosen to minimize civilian loss of life and possible release of chemical agents. Well, Jesus Christ, I hope so. No additional attacks are planned. Uh, so three strikes. What was it? Yeah, it was three strikes. Only, it was so. a strike. Um, I think yesterday, and Trump tweeted um, that it was mission successful, so mission accomplished. Do you know what the Kremlin response was? Yeah, they were pissed. They they condemned it, calling it a treacher, treacherous and insane, and a clear and present danger to world peace. So basically, you're trying to start World War Three. Like, so pretty typical Russian shit. Yeah. Just y'all are crazy. You yeah. need to listen to us. We're the only sane people on this planet. <laughs> yeah. Which. Yeah, they're doing a great job of that whole. Yo, they're narrative. really, they're like, they're really just, passive aggressive. Yeah, Russia is one of the most passive aggressive. They're gaslighting the shit out of the yeah. US. <laughs> and, uh, they're so low key, they're smarter than us. Like, you gotta admit. Like, they're, they're just they're, a few steps ahead, you know? Yeah, they're cunning. The yeah. <laughs> they're like fucking Slytherin from Harry Potter. The Zuck. The Zuck made it to Congress. He had to explain <laughs> what the weird. hell is going on with Facebook. Even though everybody really knows because everybody's the ones that are posting all this bullshit. And they just want to blame it on Facebook. But really, it's all our fault. That's kind of how I feel about it. But Nah, this also should be, privacy should be the fault. But honestly, people, low-key people, like regular people, do not care. Do you think the fucking 16-year-old person in Florida gives a fuck? Nah. Well, okay, so everybody that supposedly, like, got their shit hacked by Cambridge Analytica, which is what this is all about. So, they don't um, care. They there was this Cambridge Analytica ended up, like, working for the Trump campaign, and they were sucking up, like, if you liked them on Facebook or something, then it would just take all your contacts, and then it could take your contacts, contacts, and personal information. But... I don't know. Honestly, I just have never used Facebook thinking that anything I do or put on there is going to be private. I just don't have yeah. that expectation because why would I? I don't know. It's a private company that wants to use your data for money. Like, why, why would you even ever begin to have the assumption that you have like, privacy? The whole way they make money is by analyzing your data to sell you the right ads. Like, sell the right ads to, to people for you. So, yeah. I mean, no, I... I, I I think Facebook should be able to have control of this. Like, they should have... If, if, if companies like Cambridge Analytica are just sucking up data without Facebook being able to recognize yeah. it, yeah, that is problematic. Nah, but they should have known. But honestly, like, this shouldn't have been a problem till like, now. It's only because of Trump and this fucking election that this is a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so that's why what, what we're saying yeah. is everything comes back to Trump. Yeah. Like, all the mainstream news is literally everything. always somehow Trump-related. So, um, And yeah, this this wouldn't happen because it was all the shit in the election and yeah. then the... Also Russia. Yeah, and, you know, just some shady internet... Or, yeah, internet data mining <laughs> company anyway. happens to be working for Trump campaign yeah. like it, that's not surprising but but we're less interested in what the what the what the court like hearing was about and more about the memes that spawned from it <laughs> Mark, apparently Mark Zuckerberg is, is a robot he's a reptilian he he has he used a booster seat which was weird because the booster seat did you see that shit the booster seat was made for that chair <coughs> really? so either he had someone make a new booster seat specifically for that fucking chair which he can't use a billionaire. They can do that shit in five minutes. Or if someone offered him a booster seat. The like, Zuck is like a pretty reclusive guy. He doesn't yeah. really make news appearances. Because people or... meme the fuck out of him anytime he does. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I've seen so many great Zuckerberg memes. But... Yeah, we're just going to flash a bunch <laughs> on the screen. Made him the Monopoly man. <laughs> when they asked him the Monopoly question shit. Um, joked about his hair because his hairline is weird as fuck it looks, it looks like a bow cut but only for the front there's so many fucking things fuck yeah, also, it's like the, he has bangs but they're just like micro bangs. yeah also him drinking water is 
That was a huge meme. Also, what the fuck else? The cameras in front of just so many, just it's all gonna flash. Anyway, this was this week's. Uh, what the fuck is our show called? Impartial <laughs> theorists. Um, see you next week. Peace.